The Epoch Times is a far-right international multi-language newspaper and media company affiliated with the Falun Gong New Religious Movement, based in Midtown Manhattan. The newspaper is part of the Epoch Media Group, which also operates New Tang Dynasty NTD, television. As a media platform under Lee Homji, the Epoch Times promotes far-right politicians in Europe and backs President Donald Trump in the U.S. By the numbers, there is no bigger advocate of Donald Trump on Facebook than the Epoch Times. The New York-based news outlet has spent more than $2 million on 15,000 pro-Trump advertisements, more than any organization, than Trump campaign itself and more than most Democratic presidential candidates spending on their own campaigns. That deeply engagement has made the paper a favorite of the Donald Trump and a key component of the president's re-election campaign. The Donald Trump's Facebook page has posted Epoch Times content at least eight times in the last half year, with several articles written by members of the Trump campaign. Donald Trump Jr. has tweeted several of their stories, too. And Laura Trump sat down for a more than half-hour interview in Trump Tower with the paper's senior editor. At the same time, the Epoch Times has used every opportunity to call Joe Biden's victory into doubt. The day after Biden's victory over Trump was announced, a Falun Gong website posted a public statement by Lee Homji, titled On the General Election, as well as the print edition of the newspaper. Also, the Epoch Times produced a 93-minute video that falsely suggested widespread fraud in the Counting Duck a newspaper helped publicize the January 6 Capitol Hill riot. Even after the violence of January 6, the newspaper has continued to publicize doubts about the outcome of the presidential election. One of the Epoch Times columnists postulated that the riots were a false flag operation. In response to these facts, Facebook took action. Facebook has banned the Epoch Times. We removed accounts associated with the Epoch Times for violating our ad policies, including trying to get around our review systems, a Facebook spokesperson said. Now, Biden's time is coming, Lee Hongji and his followers will have to face a new political challenge.